Yeah, what up guys? It's your boy Brent, aka Backpack B of the Backpack B YouTube channel. So good to see you. It's been a minute since I've made an edited video, but today it's a special day, a special knife coming from Casey of the Knives Fest YouTube channel and Instagram. This is the Tempest Knives Pinion. Casey and I are buddies, just a heads up, but uh, you know, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of the knife, and uh, my honest opinion is that it's great, just right off the bat. So I'm really excited to talk about it. Welcome to Quick Cuts, let's get after it. Wasting no time, let's dive right into the spec list. Weighing in at 3.7 ounces, the pinion has a handle length of 4.5 inches and a handle thickness of 0.485 inches. So it's coming in with a thickness that's right under half an inch, which is nice. It has a blade length of 3.4 inches, a blade stock thickness of 0.12 inches, giving the Tempest Knives pinion an overall length of 7.75 inches. It features a liner lock, 14C28N steel, a choice between G10 and Micarta handles, a wire pocket clip, a matching G10 or Micarta back backspacer, thumbhole and fuller deployment, a flat grind, and a modified sheep's foot blade. The OEM for this piece is Kubi, which I'm super pumped about. I think this is a great choice by Casey. Kubi is killing it right now, it's definitely one of my top OEMs for sure. Some other examples of top-notch OEM work done by Kubi are the Dam Design Knives and the Bade Modern Stunner. I could definitely feel the Kubi influence on this piece and that's a great thing. Let's take a closer look at this knife with a knife overview. Starting with the show side of the handle as always, I gotta say this design is simple, sleek, and the pivot design is just amazing. I hope that Casey goes on to use this pivot on all his future designs, I'm a big fan. This knife is rocking titanium hardware, and aside from the pivot, you could see the torque screw and the larger wire clip screw on the show side. When the knife is closed, the top of the blade sits proud of the scales, and you could see this beautiful thumb hole that transitions to a slight fuller towards the tip end of the blade. I really like the grayish blue G10. It's slightly textured and grippy enough to meet my needs. All around the silhouette of this piece, closed and open is just very nice and sleek. Moving on to the spine of the handle, and here you can get a good look at the matching backspacer. I personally would have liked to see a little contrast with the backspacer. It's a small pet peeve of mine when backspacers blend in with the same material and color, especially with G10 and Micarta knives. Not a big deal at all, but a nice splash of color or even a different material would have been nice here. Moving on to the lock side of the knife, and the theme of simple, sleek, and elegant design continues on this side. Obviously, we are looking at a liner lock on this knife, so the lock side is nice and clean. I love the wire clip. It fits right in with the vibe of this knife. We can see that the pinion is set up for righty and lefty tip-up carry, which is great. The blade is perfectly centered on the pinion. There's no blade play, no rock lock, no detent lash. Kubi knocked it out of the park with this one for sure. All right, on to my favorite part. Time to deploy this bad boy. The only means of deployment on this knife is the thumb hole fuller combo, which for me really is the star of the show on this whole design. And wow. Yeah, that's super nice. The pinion is dialed very well for the thumb hole. Super snappy deployment, love it. I really like that Casey decided to go with just one deployment method for this knife. He could have easily made it a flipper or a front flipper as well, but by omitting these, the hole in the pinion takes front seat in the design, which is really working. And here you have the pinion in its full open glory. The overall look of this knife is very nice. Simplicity with a sporty and fast vibe, I dig it. The hole to fuller transition on the thumb hole is a terrific touch. I love how it both looks and functions, it's great. The pinion is an extremely fidgety knife. The design language developed by Casey, mixed with the OEM work by Koo is nothing short of a home run in my opinion. Time to move on to standout features. Okay, starting off, the overall design of this piece is just terrific. A few notable design features stand out to me. As I mentioned before, the pivot design on this thing is amazing. I'm a big fan. It's a unique design that adds a nice bit of flair to the simple aesthetic, but it is subtle enough to not overpower the rest of the design, which I think is huge. The design of the thumb hole that transitions into a small fuller is just very well done. Middle finger flicking this knife is an absolute dream. I couldn't stop doing it when I had it in hand. The hole provides a ton of leverage, and it deploys the blade consistently over and over again. Aesthetically, the thumb hole is gorgeous. It just feels fast. I love the design. The overall design that Casey put together feels well thought out. The design doesn't remind me of any other knife out there right now, which is really hard to do. On to the next standout feature, which is the OEM work by Kubi. The fit and finish of this knife is extremely on point. In hand, the knife feels extremely solid with no play to be found. There's no centering issues, no lock stick, no detent lash, no lock rock, no blade play, nothing. Can't find it. So a tip of the cap to Kubi, they knocked it out of the park. 
The next standout feature to me is the ergonomics of the pinion. This was one of the first things that I noticed when I got the knife in hand. I have XL glove size hands and this piece was extremely comfortable to hold. It's obvious to me that Casey paid close attention to this while designing the pinion. The forward finger choil allows comfort in multiple positions. There's no sharp corners on the handle. Everything feels rounded and smooth. The next standout feature of the pinion is the lock bar access, which is huge. The access on this knife is perfect. You never feel like you're putting too much effort to disengage the knife. It really adds to the fidget factor as well. All right, on to the final standout feature of the pinion, which is the detent, and I'm really happy to say that. This detent is perfectly dialed for this beautiful thumb hole. Deployment feels extremely dialed and snappy. Each time that you deploy the knife, the blade swings out with authority and locks firm. This mixed with the great lock bar access and the well-performing thumb hole makes handling the pinion a great experience. Okay, let's move on to the gripes of this piece, and there's really only one small nitpick that I mentioned before, and I think that this is a personal design preference. As I mentioned before, it's a small pet peeve of mine, especially on my Carta and G10 knives, when the backspacer blends into the handle scales. Although it probably would have cost more money to do something like this, I think it could have been cool to either have a pop of color on the backspacer or even a material change. Aside from this one personal preference, I found it very hard to critique anything on this piece. It's extremely well done and it feels very thought out. So this brings me to my conclusion, and obviously you could tell I'm a huge fan of the pinion. I like that Casey chose to put out a budget knife that's under $100, coming in at $75 for the G10 and $85 for the Micarta version. If you're looking for a well thought out and executed knife that is extremely comfortable in hand and that has a high fidget factor, this knife is definitely for you. I highly recommend it. I'm definitely getting a few of them, and I'm super pumped to say that this knife is a home run. Yeah! Yo! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the knife. If you did and you want to get your hands on one, the pre-order is going to be on July 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on TempestKnives.com. I'm going to leave all the info in the description below. Go check it out. Support Casey. He's a valuable member of the community. Uh, and I just love when people in the community put out knives. And it's great when they're good, too. So I'm fully behind this. I'm definitely getting a couple myself. Uh, and good job, Casey. Way to go, buddy. It's just great to see you uh, put out an awesome knife like this. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So way to go and good luck. Backpack be out. Deuces.